Well, the past year, right, the global pandemic has hurt many people, individually, many organizations, many businesses. It is not the only reason why certain organizations are going out of business or will be going out of business over the next year or two. Pandemic, and obviously, in addition to causing a lot of damage on its own, has uncovered many truths. I speak with my friends and colleagues across a multitude of industries regularly. And I was on a call recently where a number of CIOs, chief information officers came together, um, about a dozen of us from four or five different industries. And you can tell that those who are worried and concerned about what the next year to two will bring when it comes to selling their product, marketing, improving, advancing, providing flexibility to their customers, providing really solutions and services that their customers want and need in the year we live in, was often built upon prior years, not the last year, years of mismanagement from the executive leadership team and some others of lack of investments in proper tools, training, services, technologies, lack of courage to reimagine something new, to design a new product, to test it out, see if it fails, see if it sticks. Could that become something that replaces a solution or augments it or improves it that's been in the marketplace for a decade or three or seven, right? It's that lack of courage. It's that those wrong decisions that were made across certain leadership teams for years that have started channeling the futures of these organizations down a particular path. And unfortunately for some of them, and this is in their own words, these paths could be paths of no return. That's very unfortunate, especially unfortunate for those hundreds or thousands of employees who will have to deal with those consequences and those realities of those decisions. But I just wanted to take a moment to point out that while a pandemic has been horrible, continues to be, obviously from health perspectives, from so many deaths and, and, and demise and negativity across the world and on lives of people, companies or organizations, it's not the only reason. So be very mindful when an organization says, we were amazing up until March or February of 2020. And then in the last 10 months or last year, it all went out the window. If you're really, truly amazing, you wouldn't be going out of business because of a challenging year. Sure, you would have less money and less resources, maybe less people on your teams, but you would not be going out of business in under a year if you were truly amazing. If you were led the right way, if you had the right strategy in place, if you had the right vision, right tactical execution, right leadership, right ownership of problems. So keep that in mind as you move forward across your own organizations and um, especially for those of you who are looking to join new organizations in coming months or at some point this year. Look at their financial position, look at their leadership, look where they were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, and ask them questions and pay attention to how they speak about the pandemic and about the challenges they're experiencing now. If everything was flawless and wonderful and beautiful until the pandemic occurred, they may not be telling you the truth or they may not be aware of the truth. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you have seen, please consider subscribing below, share with your friends and colleagues, and most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below on what I just covered. Have a great day.